A top story tonight, Singapore is planning to have digital banks operational by mid-2021. From now till the end of the year, the monetary authority is accepting applications for new digital bank licenses, which will also be extended to non-bank players. The license criteria comes with safeguards such as minimum paid-up capital and a cap on total deposits. Senior Minister Taman Shanmugaratnam, who is also MAS chairman, had recently announced that the central bank will issue up to five digital bank licenses. Of the five license holders, up to two will be able to become digital full banks, as long as the companies are based in Singapore and are controlled by Singaporeans. They must also be headquartered in Singapore. These banks can take deposits from retail and non-retail customers. Foreign companies are eligible only if they form a joint venture with a local firm, and a Singaporean has management control over this venture. The remaining three license holders can become digital wholesale banks, which will be able to serve SMEs and other non-retail segments. Foreign companies can do so as well, so long as they are locally incorporated. However, these wholesale banks are not allowed to take deposits from retail customers, except for fixed deposits of at least $250,000, and must have a minimum paid-up capital of $100 million. For both types of applications, at least one party in a group must have a track record of three or more years operating a business in technology or e-commerce. Such a party must hold at least 20% of total issued shares in the digital bank. Successful applicants will be announced in mid-2020, with parties expected to start business by mid-2021. Among the key assessment criteria are the value proposition of the applicant's business model, its ability to manage a sustainable model, and its growth prospects. A digital full bank will operate under tight restrictions for one to two years. It can operate with a minimum paid-up capital of $15 million and total deposits capped at $50 million. The bank is expected to be fully functioning within three to five years and have a minimum paid-up capital of $1.5 billion. Digital full banks will not be allowed to access ATM networks, but may offer cashback services at retailers. Now, one analyst says the eligibility criteria set by the central bank is welcome and necessary. That's because it sends a strong signal that MES is extremely careful in liberalising the banking sector and will spare no effort in protecting customers. Even as applicants get the green light for a digital bank licence, there are still tight curbs in place. For instance, applications for full bank licences are open to companies headquartered in and controlled by Singaporeans. While foreign firms can apply if they form a joint venture with a Singapore company, one analyst says he's not surprised by the tight measures. Um, anything touching the retail customers, uh, we should take a very measured approach. Um, many of the digital banks are being approved in concept now. Uh, it will take time for them to implement and to show, demonstrate that they can put it um, and put in place a plan and take it forward. So just having this step measures uh, will ensure that um, there remains some control by the regulator as to when they released it and allow it to be uh, fully accessible to all the customers. Given the restrictions and criteria, Mr. Sam said some applicants may not have what it takes to secure a license. He said tech companies or e-wallet operators are more likely to apply. Applicant groups that initially thought that uh, they would take more than five years to achieve the 1.5 billion and think that they can kind of stretch it out a little bit, um, m m they have to rethink it. Um, it's not that they, it rules them out, but they have to relook at the strategy a, a little bit more. All in, Mr. Sam said such licenses could also mean more diversity and choice in banking systems. They could also help traditionally underserved segments, such as small firms, who may have trouble with credit gaps. Customers could also enjoy lower costs because online banks have very low overheads. Hopefully with the technology and the technology stack, um, the cost of delivery can come down and therefore it allows uh, customers to enjoy better rates. And if um, the vision of what they wanted to do, which is to help SME uh, digitalize and internationalize, then if that can even be achieved, then customers should be very happy. Mr. Sam added that competition between players in the industry will also contribute to bringing these costs down.